All right, Virgo, so they will be back. Expect to hear from them soon. Okay. Who is Virgo going to be hearing from? Is it going to be this person we've been talking about? Let's see. Okay. Ten of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. I can't even believe. This just keeps showing up. <laughs> so far, three readings. Um, yeah, somebody's definitely going to be returning. Okay. Um, it could be, if there's a court card, it'll definitely show up more specifically, but it could be Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, or Scorpio. You will be receiving a message from somebody after they put down some kind of load that they've been carrying around for quite some time. There's definitely going to be a change. And you will hear from someone. Now, the Page of Cups is a very mild message um, that's very sweet. It could be in the form of a text. It could be an email. Um, could be like a chat that comes in. Let's see. This person. Um, hmm. Why is this eight of pen uh, seven of pentacles here? Huh. This person comes in with this big they've contemplated themselves it looks like they're coming in with this emperor energy aries they're coming in with this bold take the lead energy hmm well if you listen to the previous reading where i did feel like you know oh 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 and, I, and we had the empress in the previous reading the water sign thing so seeing you as an empress them coming in as an emperor you know, Virgo, I kind of feel like this person's going to come back completely changed. Yes. And there, look, there's the Ace of Cups. Yes. Okay. So, like, changed behavior is what I feel. I feel like this person is not going to change their personality. They are who they are. Um, but the behaviors, um, coming in with this Emperor energy is very much like above board, up front, honest, um, a bit commanding, not demanding, commanding, um, good communicator, uh, someone who is good at delegating, a uh, very direct type of a person, but not mean, and also someone who is of very little words, but what they do say is profound of what they do say. Um, so yeah, you're going to be hearing between February, I'm sorry, between now, January, the, I don't even know, today, is it a Monday, the 15th, 16th, um, all the way up through like the second week of February, you're going to be here, maybe even on Valentine's Day, could be getting a little heart. All right, three of Pentacles fell out in the reverse, so part of this communication um i feel like is going to be this person because you know the next reading is confession so hold on um they may lead up to perhaps telling you um i'm actually let me do them both because that they're just calling me to bring these in now someone has some has someone has to tell you something so they may lead up to telling you and confessing to you what's changed and how they weren't open to learning in the past they were kind of like unteachable maybe they're you know how you, the older you get it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks it might have been that too um but it feels like you know because the three of pentacles in the reverse is a card of someone who's like skipping school <laughs> you know what i mean not going to school they're uh juvenile delinquent or something and this person may have been a juvenile like acting like a juvenile delinquent if you listen to the first reading with caution you had the fool so there was someone who was just irresponsible doesn't take heed or warning you know and i feel like this is part of the story that this person 
it's like, wow, I decided to grow up. I decided to like be an adult in this relationship. <laughs> and I want to tell you that I was a juvenile delinquent with you. I was not open to learning. I was not teachable. In other words, I, I struggled with hearing what you had to say. I struggled with empathizing. I couldn't put myself in your shoes. I may have been dismissive when you tried to share how you felt or um, I might have gone cold or just pushed you away. And I've learned through maybe either a mentor or someone that I was talking to, like a fire sign before um, or an air sign. And I've learned that I'm on the brink of losing you if I don't make these little changes. These aren't massive changes. Now listen, if you were dealing with someone that was, and I just feel like Spirit wants you to know, you know, if so, if somebody like dismisses you and isn't hearing you out or doesn't want to sit down and talk about something, you know, that's one thing. But like if someone is physically abusing you or if they are lying and cheating, um, those are big cart item, big ticket items that are non-negotiable. They're just non-negotiable. This is the price. If you can't pay the price, you got to go shop somewhere else. Those types of things, like I'm, I'm saying, I, you don't ever, like, you don't, if you pick up a snake that has a cute little scarf on because it looks cute and that makes you think it's okay, no, that snake's going to bite you because snake's a snake, right? I feel like if someone has messed around or done things continuously and then they're coming back with, I've learned my lesson. Now get the L out, get out of here, get out of the door. Don't even call. No, you had your chance. You don't give chances to people that put hands on you or you don't give chances to people that lie like infidelity um, because that's even a risk to your health. You know, no, 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 no. That I'm not talking about that. If, if you're sitting here like, oh, okay, I'll give another chance. No, that's not what I'm saying. Um, this is someone who, you know, if you might have asked them, you know, um, can we go so many days without talking? I feel very uncomfortable when we go that many days without talking. I'd like to hear from you a little bit more. And they just dismiss you. Or, you know, you give someone a kiss and they pull away, you know, and you feel kind of like, oh, you know, off put, you know, like continuous things like that. Or someone just acted like they just didn't want to be in the relationship or they prioritized doing their hobby over spending time with you or talking or trying to because every relationship i don't care who how great relationships are every relationship needs an inventory check at times so that's what i'm talking about here this person you know you've asked time and time again how many times do i have to ask you to put the seal so the toilet seat down or up whichever for me or if you could do this one little thing right these are the things that i'm talking about i'm not talking about all that other shit um okay water sign queen of cups yeah uh, i feel like this person will tell you like part of that confession is they kept a lid on their feelings and their emotions but though they do have um i feel like they do have the empathy and i feel like they do have the ability to uh, feel but their way to express um it's a little chunky i'm hearing <laughs> it's like chunky peanut butter like ew that's so gross it's not enjoyable we want something smooth things that come out smooth with this person they, they come out perhaps chunky like off-putting or not what you expect someone to say you know like if someone says i love you and the other person's like ditto like okay well that does mean you do but really ditto <laughs> I mean, maybe you guys did that. I don't know. I, and I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I'm just trying to give an example of like, ditto was kind of cold, even though it, even though it does mean the same thing and it can be playful. It, it, you know, this ain't Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore anymore. So this is, yeah, this person, look, here they come with the Knight of Cups. Yeah. So they're going to make some effort here. Definitely. Um, with you and it's not going to be profound because the knight of cups is not profound it's not the lovers it is an action card where its emotions are expressed through action so there is going to be something 
okay but remember you were still trying to figure out what you wanted to do here from the other readings you were still kind of like uh is it gonna be struggle am i am i built for this struggle uh, or, you know i mean i know there's there seems to be a lot of variables and factors and things that you have to figure out for yourself as far as committing goes you know um because i like to think that sometimes people they just want to commit just to commit but they don't even are aware of what they're committing to and then that winds up biting them in the ass later you know um I personally think it's good to try to be as objective as possible, but I understand sometimes your emotions get the best of you and you just feel them love feelings, or you may feel like, oh, there's nobody else out there and this person ticks a good bit of my boxes and am I willing to put up with these other boxes that are unticked? I feel like this person's going to try to tick some of those other boxes, but I hope that you keep your expectations low if you decide that you want to try if not you might just say you know maybe we maybe it's better we just remain friends yeah so you got some stuff going on here for you during this time period but if this runs in through valentine's day which it possibly could um i would say you might hear from this person even around valentine's day which could be um well it's sweet you know it's kind of sweet it may not be enough for you, or and for others it might be. So, let me see. Is there anything else Virgo needs to know? Okay. Yeah, they're definitely going to try to do the right thing here. That's Libra and energy there. Um, they're definitely going to try to make things right. Not perfect, but make, make things right. Try, at least. And they're going to start with love and try to give you... Like, I don't... Like, I don't, I don't know if this is, because this Queen of Cups has this lid on the chalice there, which means the emotions are deep within. I don't know if this person, like, I feel like they're going to try to give you what you need, not what they need. Does that make sense? Which might be all right with you. Oh, look, there's the King of Cups. Yeah, so, you know, I don't know what's going on here in this reading, but I will honestly tell you that I feel like part of this confession to tell you is that they're aware they've become aware and they don't want to lose this relationship they're going to have to make some tweaks it's not a lot i don't feel like virgos ever really ask for much <laughs> i feel like virgos you know i just don't i feel like virgo is not that person who's you know asks for much because i feel like virgos are very settled they can be and and quite self-sufficient and they're okay they don't usually have great expectations of people either if they're in their logical objective practical mind um I'm not so sure about the emotional side but virgos do have a tendency to want things perfect and i think it's important that you know this perf this person is going to try like i said to make things as right as they possibly can if you want them to but they're not it's not going to be perfect and so if you have an expectation for perfection you're going to be disappointed and that just goes all across the board with people in general because nobody is perfect right so let's get a couple of initials and names and try to see okay we've got the letter b um and the letter o <laughs> Bo, B O, um, or just B and the letter O. Um, then there was a 12, so, and it flipped to a 10. So we have September 10th, September 12th. Also, if somebody is age 53, let's see what else you have here, Virgo. Oh, see what I was telling you about the snake? Here's a snake. All right. Um, and that, that's specific for you guys where I was trying to say that if you're dealing with someone who, like I said, um, has, has just been, I'm not even talking making tiny mistakes. I mean, it's just been a Slytherin snake. Uh, no, I, I would not advise to give more chances to that person. You know, sometimes, sometimes people just got to take a loss, you know. 
I mean, it's like when you get to the playoffs, you didn't get one chance <laughs> out there. So, you know, if you... I was watching these um, old America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, all that. And I was watching, I don't know if you guys saw it, but there was the the really bad auditions. And there were people that were showing up there that weren't prepared, you know, um, because they didn't really want it that much, I guess. Or they had something wrong with them that they th thought they were amazing or gifted, talented singers or whatever. Um but they would they would show up and they were just awful and then of course you know the judges are like no um you're not going to pass through and they would get really upset like i'm the best singer in the world i've i've got this and i've got that and they'd get a real attitude and sometimes the judges are like okay well if you feel that way did you do any preparation have you had any vocal training have you done anything to secure your position to get to the next level here well no i haven't i never did that i just know i'm a good singer you know and it's kind of like i think the point i'm trying to make is um when you're dealing with someone who just comes back around and is like well i've learned my lesson you got to be like how what have you done what actions what work have you done what has happened to you you can't just take people at their word you know because I mean, and, and if you decide to, uh, you'll find out very soon if they're, if they're true to their word or not. But I wouldn't just take anybody at their word after they've um, pulled those major violations against you, against your soul. Because I can tell you that the worst thing that can happen to someone is not their physical injury, but their spirit being decimated, you know? When, you're, when you lose your spirit and a sense of who you are, you're dying from the inside out. Your body will just follow along later. Because people are generally strong and they can put up a good fight. But when someone attacks your sense of who you are and your spirit and your soul by lying to you and causing you to mistrust yourself, I mean, that's, that's devil energy right there. You know, so that's that snake slithering snake shedding its skin every time they come back around and tell you that they've changed but they haven't they just they just got new skin you have to see what i'm talking about here because that's not what i'm talking about here with this person this is like you left the toilet seat up i've asked you 20 times it's not worth breaking up over but for some of you it's like these are small tweaky changes that need to be made, you know, that need to be talked about, like I was saying before. So I do feel like that energy is good and that's going to start to improve um, because I feel like this person, I don't know, something makes them want to be with you, something special about you. Um, like I said, you had that eagle in the previous reading. You're above, high above all the rest. You're worthy. You're worth it. Um, but if it's, if it's, if you feel like it's, this is that person that's like, oh yeah, they feel all that way, but then they keep doing what they're doing, then it's a no. Don't even entertain the reading. Don't, don't gaslight yourself. You don't need to worry about anybody else gaslighting you. You need to worry about gaslighting yourself. Keep it real. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.